Welcome everybody to my newest Let's Play, Deadly Towers from the Nintendo Entertainment System. And this game is quite deadly, uh, mainly because it drops you into the game, doesn't give you a lot of direction on where to go. Uh, there's a bunch of hidden parallel zones, hidden dungeons. Uh, and basically if you were playing this uh, without a guide, you have to be making uh, lots of maps, a lot of trial and error. Uh, so it's not definitely a beginner's game, but it is doable if you know what you're doing. Uh, so while they uh, don't give you much direction, they do give you quite a long uh, cutscene here, basically telling you uh, the plot of the game. You may need to slow it down if you want to read it all, because the uh, text scrolls pretty fast. But basically, uh, you are Prince Meyer, and uh, you are about to partake in your coming of age ceremony and eventually become crowned king. So of course you're a little nervous because it's a big day in your life. Uh, so you step outside to just gather your thoughts and uh, relax a little bit. So you're doing that by a lake outside the castle and this apparition appears and basically tells you that this evil wizard Rubus is threatening to overthrow the kingdom by summoning a whole bunch of monsters using these seven magical bells on the top of uh, these towers on the mountain. So it is your job to basically uh, head to the mountain find the seven towers, defeat the monsters that uh, are within them, and then destroy the bells so that Rubus can't summon the monsters, and then hunt down Rubus and defeat him to save the kingdom. So you think that you would just go tell your uh, father that the king, and he would give you like his best armor, maybe some soldiers to help you out, you know, seeing that you're going to save the kingdom, but you basically don't get anything. Uh, you start the game uh, very, very weak. You have uh, 100 hit points and everything does a whole bunch of damage to you because you have absolutely no armor. All you have is 50 looter, which is the coins of this game, and a short sword. And it's not like Zelda where you can uh, press the sword and stab with it. In this game, uh, Prince Meyer throws the sword. And he can only throw one sword at a time at the beginning and he throws very, very uh, slow. So you need the best way to defeat enemies to get really, really close to them and just spam the attack button. Uh, but, of course, getting really, really close to the enemies means that you might get hit by them and uh, take a lot of damage. So, we're going to try to uh, increase our survivability by buying some armor. That's our first goal. Uh, and we can get armor in dungeons. Now, dungeons are uh, hidden about. Uh, you don't get to see the entrance to the dungeons. Uh, and that's what makes things a little bit difficult because you might be just wandering around and you'll find yourself stuck in a dungeon. And dungeons are really, really big in this game and really, really confusing. So, uh, but, uh, and not all the dungeons have everything that you need. Luckily, the dungeon that we're going to go to is right outside the mountain where the bells are, where the towers of the bells are. So, uh, we will get everything we need in that dungeon, uh, the first tier of equipment. And uh, then we'll be right outside, uh, when we exit that dungeon, we'll be right outside uh, the main part of our quest, the, the tower area. So there's uh, three tier of equipment. There's your starting uh, equipment, and that's what we're going to be buying in the dungeon. Then you're going to get, uh, after you get three of the bells, uh, enemies will get harder, and uh, shops will change what they sell for equipment-wise, and you can get the second tier type of equipment. And then uh, after uh, the fifth, uh, bell that you collect, uh, shops will change again, but they don't sell any new equipment. The third tier equipment you have to find in the uh, towers. And uh, you find them in parallel zones, and like the uh, dungeons, the entrances to the parallel zones are, aren't marked on the map. So you just gotta kind of wander and step in the right place. So that's what makes this game, like I said, really, really tough that, you know, there's no little sign that shows this is an entrance or this is an exit. Uh, you just have to just randomly find things out on your own. So, luckily the path to the towers isn't, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, as long as you ain't really, uh, sneaking into the corners. Corners is usually where, uh, hidden dungeons are. So as long as you're kind of like staying in the middle, uh, you shouldn't run into any dungeons. Uh, but you still have to contend with, uh, these tough enemies. Uh, the toughest ones are the gusts of wind that appear because they're really, really fast, and the bats up there uh, because they move in a really strange motion. And uh, Prince Meyer is really, really slow. So there's a wind gust that just went by us there real quick. Uh, 
one bad thing is that when Prince Mario gets hit, uh, he has really uh, far knockback, and that can often push him down in the pits. Wherever the uh, bottom of the screen is kind of cracked, see over to the left there, uh, that is a pit area. If you get pushed off that, you fall to your death, and you have to restart over. If it's a solid line, you're uh, okay. But as you see, there's quite a few uh, pit areas here, and pretty much getting hit by anything from above will push you into the pit. So we got these guards here. This is just a, a shortcut. If you have uh, this key that can be uh, bought after uh, you get five of the bells, uh, you can just take that shortcut. But it's kind of a pointless shortcut. I'll show uh, where the shortcut will take. It's basically will prevent you from getting like uh, having to go through like two rooms. So it's not really a thing, but I just wanted to show that off. And I guess it's a uh, you could go that way in your coming back to the beginning. Uh, on the first screen you notice that I went all the way over to the uh, right and there was a door that was locked. Uh, that is where the evil wizard Rubus is uh, living. So, But that door will not open up until we uh, get the, uh, the seven bells and uh, destroy them at the sacred flame. So it's kind of like Zelda in a sense, uh, you know, you gotta get the Triforce, the eight pieces of the Triforce before you can uh, head into uh, level eight, Ganon's, uh, or level nine, Ganon's Tower in the original Legend of Zelda. This game kind of reminds me, I guess, a little about like the Legend of Zelda. I mean, you're a knight with a sword, uh, you're going through like dungeons to get equipment, get items to help you on your uh, quest. But unlike Zelda, like I said, uh, there's no uh, indication where uh, the dungeons are, uh, and the dungeons, unlike Zelda, are really, really uh, big, and uh, they wrap around each other, so it's a very confusing layout. So we're going to basically avoid all the dungeons except for one. Uh, we're going to that one dungeon, like I said, that's uh, good because it has uh, all the equipment shops that uh, we need. Uh, there's a dungeon right near the beginning, uh, but that one doesn't have uh, all the equipment we need. Uh, we want to buy uh, a helmet, uh, a shield, armor, and then uh, that's all the defensive equipment. And then we want to get uh, offensive equipment. We want to get the uh, uh, glove. Glove uh, lets you throw your swords faster. So uh, that'll be uh, helpful. We already start with like the weakest sword. The, so the swords that are available right now for sale. Uh, it's pointless to get them because we already start with the weakest sword and all they're selling is the weakest the, uh, equipment right now. So we got these little mini bosses here. Uh, just get close to them, shoot them, hopefully you can stun lock them. I mentioned Zelda a little bit earlier. You notice there's a, uh, these heart containers we've been picking up. Each of those heart containers uh, increases our max life by uh, 10. And occasionally enemies will drop a heart. Uh, picking up a heart will give you 10 hit points back to your max. Or uh, to your current hit points until you reach your max. So right now our max is at uh, 140. Uh, we're going to be able to pick up more of those uh, heart containers uh, when we get into the tower areas. But for now, 140 is all we're going to be able to get uh, until we get to the first dungeon. The first dungeon is right around here. Uh, it's up there in the corner. Like I said, there's no indication that there's a dungeon there. You just have to uh, experiment through mapping things out. But uh, if we go up through this door, that's going to take us to the main area of our quest. Uh, the outside of the towers where the mountains are. There's a sacred flame. When you get a bell, you have to come back, burn it in the flame. Uh, and here's our first dungeon. We're going to go into this dungeon here. Uh, and luckily when we exit this dungeon, it takes us right outside the flame. So uh, certain dungeons, they drop you off in different rooms. This one is good because, uh, like I said, once you uh, finish the dungeon uh, and exit it, it takes you right outside the flame there. So you don't have to do much backtracking. So a lot of these uh, uh, dungeon rooms that have a carpet in them. Uh, a carpet usually means that there's a shop. You just basically step in the middle of the carpet and uh, you'll be taken to a shop. Not all carpets do, but uh, most of them do. So if you ever see a carpet, you just want to step into it to be safe. 
See if we can get something there. So we got our first item there, the helmet. Gives a little bit of defense. Uh, not too much though. Uh, you usually don't see a big boost in your defensive uh, stat until you basically get a full set of equipment. So we really get a uh, good defense, we're going to have to buy that shield and the leather armor. So the best way to build up Luna right now, the coins, is to fight these towers that uh, have these little blob enemies made out of. And when we exit and enter the room again, the enemies respawn, but they take a few seconds until they build up. While uh, all the balls are combined into one enemy there, one sprite. Uh, they take uh, all the damage, so like inst I'm hitting them like three times there, but I think if there's like seven balls, I'm really hitting them 21 times. So you can really defeat uh, the enemies really, really quickly, as long as the tower doesn't grow. And you're still going to get the drops from uh, all the slimes, that, the balls that make up the tower. It's just the best place to basically uh, farm for looter. Uh, I'm just doing a bunch of farming here now. Uh, I'll do some farming off screen later. Uh, for some other items, but right now I'm just going to farm here to get a, a bunch of uh, money to, like I said, uh, buy the leather armor, uh, buy the glove, and buy the shield. I will be making a second trip back into this dungeon then to pick up some uh, items, to, uh, some helpful items. Shops sell uh, potions, scrolls, crystals, and necklaces. Uh, most of them are kind of useless. We saw there was, uh, in the last uh, shop, there was a potion for sale, uh, a red potion. Uh, red potions restore 50 hit points to you. Uh, that basically is all you're going to be able to uh, buy right now. Once you, uh, like I say, get three bells, then they'll start selling orange potions, which restore uh, 100 hit points. And then after uh, five bells, you'll get green potions, which restore 200, and then uh, blue potions after you clear all the bells which destroy you uh, uh, to max hit points. So yeah, shops change based on how many bells you got. Uh, we're going to uh, be getting a few red potions and we'll also be getting uh, some scrolls. The best scroll uh, in the game is the uh, orange scroll. Uh, you can use that in the towers and it takes you back to where the flame is. So basically you can go into the tower, beat the boss, use a scroll, warp out of the tower. You don't have to backtrack. It saves a lot of time backtracking. Uh, green scrolls take you back to the start of the game. Uh, blue scrolls are totally worthless. They warp you to a random place in the dungeon. And red scrolls just kill all the enemies uh, inside a dungeon room. And most dungeon rooms only have like at most four enemies in them. So kind of pointless. Uh, then there's some crystals. We'll talk about them uh, when I see some. Uh, necklaces are uh, also kind of useless. Uh, most of them... Uh, some will increase your uh, defense, some will increase your offense. Uh, one will make you invincible, but you can't uh, attack when you're invincible. And then another necklace is coded to uh, basically do nothing. They messed up the code. Yeah, a Nintendo game with a messed up code. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, like I said, right now we're just uh, gathering all these enemies. Because, like I said, we want to uh, get that equipment. These enemies, like I said, are really weak right now. I mean, we're really weak, and the enemies are really weak, so... We're going to just take advantage of these weak slime towers to get the looter that we need to buy the equipment. So... We can get a max of 250 looter. Uh, we'll end up needing more than 250 looter, but there's other places we can farm for the looter. Right now, I just want to... Uh, get uh, over uh, 200 looter because that'll allow me to uh, head down and grab the armor. So it's a little off the path here, but with the little slimes, little slinkies. You see, there's no, room, most rooms don't have uh, a lot of enemies. Enemies that are as tall as uh, the prince, uh, they can drop like, they can have two drops. Uh, so uh, you might want to farm from them, but usually they take a lot of hits, so not necessarily advised. So yeah, here's a tall enemy here. It looks like a caveman. You can drop two things, but he says it's much easier just to farm off the slime towers. So we're gonna grab a gauntlet here. Uh, there's a red potion there on the uh, left. The gauntlet you saw goes into our attack. That lets us throw our sword a little bit uh, faster. 
The between uh, the sword and the gauntlet, uh, there's an empty space. That space can be filled with a certain item, either the parallel shot, which allows you to throw uh, two swords at a time, uh, and then another one is uh, the rapid shot, which lets you throw uh, uh, two swords, have two swords on the screen at the same time. That one's a little bit better. Uh, because of the parallel shot, if one of your swords misses, the other one is still going to fly off screen. It does give you like a, a wider hitbox, uh, but if one of the swords misses uh, the hitbox, you still can only have one sword on screen, where the rapid shot lets you have two swords on the screen. So, I'm going to uh, just take out these enemies, go nice and slow, because like I said, we're very, very weak. And uh, this is the exit room. We're not going to uh, exit though, because we still have to buy some uh, equipment. So just uh, take out these snakes, hopefully get some looter, because you spend a lot of looter in that uh, first shop. Sh uh, the exits are just like the uh, shops. You basically would step into that uh, set of the carpet. Usually you can tell you're in an exit room because the floor is a really dark color and there's a rug in the center. But. We're only going to be uh, ex uh, exploring this dungeon because, like I said, it has everything we need in it. So, and uh, most of the things are pretty uh, located very close to the exit. There's not a lot of screens. So let's step in here, and we'll buy our shield here. So now all we need is the leather armor. We press select to get into this menu screen right here, and then you press A to use an item. Uh, if you don't have enough uh, room, uh, you can uh, press the B button and that will throw away an item. It gives you the option to throw away an item. But as long as you're managing your inventory, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. You can have nine things total. But once you uh, buy something and use it in uh, from your inventory, it goes into, uh, like I said, your offense or your defensive area. So it doesn't take any more room in your uh, inventory. See, so yeah, I saw that uh, the helmet and the shield, they're not uh, taking up any more inventory room. They're on our equipment. So we have another one of these uh, ball towers that we're going to farm off of because there's two more shops that we want to go to. We're going to get, uh, like I said, the leather armor, and then we're going to get some uh, a potion, and then we'll uh, exit out. Then we're going to dive back into this thing, and we're going to basically... Uh, like I said, on our second dive through, uh, we'll have uh, all our first level gear. So our money will be going toward uh, buying the uh, post, uh, buying uh, four red potions and four orange scrolls, and buying uh, the shoes. Shoes you can get uh, for free in one of the towers, but uh, they're guarded pretty tough. Uh, tough, so. It's much easier just to buy a pair of shoes. Also, where you can find a free pair of shoes uh, in the game, but they're in a parallel zone in the uh, one of the towers, and most of the parallel zones in the towers have really tough monsters in them. So it's just easier to just buy the shoes right here. Now the shoes are weird. At first, they don't seem like they do anything. Uh, but the only function that they have is they allow you to climb up stairs. Uh, really quick, and they let you move diagonally uh, really, really quick as well. So you're gonna first equip them, and your guys are not gonna move uh, really fast if he goes to the left or to the right or up and down. But moving diagonally, he'll uh, pick up a good uh, bit of speed and going upstairs. So that'd be really good for the towers. Then we just got uh, farmed a bunch of our looter here real quick. Another tall enemy. Just gonna get near him. So you drop two things there. Oop, this one has the uh, the gauntlet. Oop, went to the wrong shop, but we can buy a uh, potion here. Uh, potions here are really really cheap. They're only forty in other uh, areas. They're uh, they can be fifty. So it's okay that I went to this room to get a cheap potion. As long as I have an extra hundred to buy the uh, leather armor, which is over in this shop here to the left instead of the right. We pick up the leather armor, equip it, and now we have full defensive items. Uh, we won't be getting uh, that attack item until much later uh, in one of the towers. So yeah, we're stuck with just the uh, 
single sword shot, but the sword is going much faster now, now that we, like I said, that we got the gauntlet to throw faster. The, I don't know how uh, putting a gauntlet on makes you throw your sword faster, but it does. So, and we're going to take a lot less damage. Uh, still kind of deadly, though. Uh, you don't want to take too, too many hits. Uh, that's where we're going to be picking up those uh, potions. So, like I said, we exit that dungeon, and hey, we'll put outside, right outside here for the flame. So we can just uh, head back into the dungeon again. And like I said, I will be uh, going back to the first room where those uh, the ball tower was. And I'll just be farming off there, uh, off screen, uh, to buy uh, the four orange scrolls that are 100 and uh, four uh, red potions. So I need three more of them. And uh, that's what we'll pick up on our next episode. Have a good one. Bye.